My name is Willow Dressel, and I'm the engineering librarian at Princeton University. I'm here to talk about perplexity.ai, perplexity for short. Perplexity can be accessed via any internet browser by visiting perplexity.ai. Chrome users can also install a browser plugin and set perplexity as the default search engine. <clears throat> it is also available from the App Store on iOS and Android mobile devices. Perplexity has both free and paid versions. The free version gives access to this Ask Anything search box with the ability to narrow to specific focus or domains such as academic, writing, Wolfram Alpha, YouTube, Reddit, and Wikipedia. For $20 a month or $200 a year, you get access to GPT-4 and nearly unlimited Copilot usage. Copilot is the personal AI search assistant. You don't have to create an account, but doing so provides a little more free functionality, such as saved searches, some personal customization, and limited use of the Copilot AI. You only need to provide an email address and username to sign up for an account, or you can use your Google or Apple ID. The AI profile allows you to enter whatever information you think would help personalize your AI experience, as well as your location and language preferences. So what would we use Perplexity for? <clears throat> In terms of discovery, Perplexity provides a text-based chatbot style response with link citations to sources across the web. There are generally up to about five sources cited in any given response, and they range from Wikipedia to random websites and scholarly sources. We can take a look at this search that I performed earlier for design of shear walls in tall buildings and their ability to withstand lateral loads during seismic activities. I copied and pasted this exact text from an email I received from a student earlier this summer. As you can see, we have a text-based response narrative with citations throughout. If we click on the citations, we'll be taken to the article. We can also scroll down to see the different sources that are used in the citations. As you can see, there is a mix. BigRents.com, I am not familiar with, but I do know IOP, Princeton, ResearchGate, and MDPI. So given the limited number of citations provided, this would not be helpful for a comprehensive literature review. It could maybe be used to review foundational information on a topic if one uses good source evaluation and fact-checking techniques. For misinformation and disinformation, we can actually ask Perplexity how accurate its responses are, and I did. With what looks like some accuracy, which is a paradox that I won't go into here. It states that the method used to evaluate the responses guarantees confidence, not accuracy, and goes on to state that it doesn't perform any form of sanity checking. Perplexity does not provide any forward or backward citation information in the search results. I tried to find a query that would lead to this type of result and only ended up with bibliographic information for the article I was looking for on different platforms. I tried two different searches, references to and the title of an article, and again ended up with where the article is available, as well as citations for. And ended up with a lot more text 
but the citations are, again, just the article itself. <clears throat> it may be that there is a way to get perplexity to do forward or backward citation searching, but I don't know how that would be, that, uh, that query would be structured. Can we use perplexity to find collaborator collaborators? Unlike ChatGPT, perplexity will actually return citations to real researchers and research articles. So I tried a few searches for researchers in specific research areas. We'll take a look at who are the top researchers in ligno lignocellulosic biorefineries. Unlike ChatGPT, Perplexity will actually return citations to real researchers and research articles. However, it is still predictive text based on confidence, not accuracy. So a question like top researchers in lignocellulosic biorefineries is not based on any standard bibliometrics. And it is unclear how it came up with these responses. I also tried to ask questions about where to publish. Again, this is based on predictive text, so asking what journals are publishing on a given topic might actually give a little bit of accurate information. I tried two sample searches, one for journals publishing about research data management and one for journals publishing on lignocellulosic biorefineries. Again, it is unclear how it came up with these responses. There may be some accurate information in here, but I wouldn't use it as a primary source for this type of search. One cool feature that Perplexity provides is that the browser plugin allows you to create a summary of the text on a web page. making it easier to determine what materials are relevant. Thank you, and I hope you found this information about perplexity.ai helpful.